Congratulations to Danny Garcia. Um, as you see my videos, the, the knockout actually came earlier than I expected. That's because Khan decided to stand in the center of the ring and start flurrying, um, doing the same nonsense he normally does. Um, I would like to see Khan in and out. I was expecting to see him come in and out and make some sort of change to his game plan or his tactics. But it's the same old Amir Khan. I don't know why he has, I don't know who's telling him that this style that he's got where he's throwing flurries of punches and standing in front of guys suits him. He doesn't have a chin, as far as I'm concerned, to be standing up against these, punch, against these guys that he's, he's, he's doing this style with. For me, he's not a puncher. He overwhelms you with flurries of punches, but he's not a puncher. And so for me, um, it'd probably be better if he was on off his back foot and counter punching rather than trying to run forward and, and, and throw a whole bunch of punches and leave himself exposed. Um, so Khan box exactly the, the same way in each and every fight. He doesn't seem to be able to fight any other way. Um, for a guy who was a, a silver medalist uh, in the Olympics, um, it's quite shocking the way he's been knocked out now, knocked out twice. And knocked out quite similarly. He got knocked out by Prescott and the way he got knocked out again is very similar. Um, you know, you decide to, the guy, you've got faster hands, you've got faster feet. Okay, you're not the greatest fighter against pressure fighters, but you know, you decide to stand in front of him. So of course you get knocked out. So, you know, um, I, to be honest, I don't have much sympathy for Amir Khan. This sounds like I'm calm bashing it. I'm not. I don't have a lot of sympathy for him because he's talking about Floyd Mayweather. I mean, he's on another universe. I mean, why would you talk about Floyd Mayweather? I mentioned about talking about fighting Floyd Mayweather in the future. And he's been always talking about the Floyd Mayweather fight. And you've got Danny Garcia right in front of you. I, I've always said that Amir Khan was an accident waiting to happen. And tonight that accident happened. Fortunately for me, that's also happened on my birthday. And after what happened to Derek Chisora earlier on in the night, I sort of feel redeemed. I was kind of questioning myself and thinking to myself, hmm, got that Chisora prediction pretty wrong there. And um, didn't see that happening. And I started having slight doubts about the Garcia fight. But I just figured as soon as I saw Amir come out the first round and stand his ground right in front of Garcia, who's got a decent chin, and I would say that Morales is a bigger puncher than Amir Khan is. So how Amir Khan thought he was going to knock Garcia out? Especially in the first couple of rounds. I don't know. It's beyond me. But um, where does Amir Khan go from here? Well. He's got a long way back. Um, what, what can you do with him? I don't know if Freddie Roach is to, train, to blame for this. Who, who do you who, who do you put your finger at? Obviously you start with Khan. Because of the, the reckless tactics he's had. Um, but um, he didn't look any stronger to me. I'm not convinced. I said his style that he's got, his boxing strategy he's got as rushing out of fighters. I think there needs to be a remodeling of his fight, his, his, his style, if he's going to continue and maybe use his jabs and keep at distance and practice learning how to tie guys up on the ropes or learn how to fight on the inside. He needs to go back to learning the basics. He needs to learn how to fight on the inside. He needs to learn how to keep a guy in a jab, how to throw punches, three, four, four or five punch combinations and getting away. Um, you know, or, or three, three punch combinations and getting away. He needs to be able to do that um, and adapt that sort of style. He's not a big puncher, so he needs to get that out of his head straight away. Um, but I'm glad this has sort of hap happened to Khan. And I actually think, funnily enough, I think it's the best thing that could have happened to him. Because, well, you can dispute the Peterson fight. I thought Peterson handed it to him. But, you know, the PEDs come out and all the excuses about the mystery man. Well, there's no mystery man this time. You got knocked out, right? And now that should address the... Now, hopefully, Khan will address the flaws. That he's not the great fighter that he thinks he is. And he will actually sit down, watch the fight, realise that um, he was tactically wrong in that fight and make the adjustments. I hope that he does pay attention to this. And I don't hear anything silly from him saying, oh, well, it was a lucky punch. Uh, you know, I could have come back into the fight. He was getting beaten all around the ring. And as far as I'm concerned, I think he can come back, Amir Khan. But, you know, 
for his career now it's going to be in the minds of everyone that anytime he gets to the ring with somebody who's got who's a banger who can punch you know there's always a possibility that Khan could get knocked out an accident waiting to happen it's a shame but I did see it coming guys um, what would you do now it's Freddie Roach to blame for this um, coming into the fight you would have thought there would have been some sort of game plan specifically set up to deal with Danny Garcia um, but what were they doing in the gym I didn't get to see much of the beyond the ropes with Khan sparring suppose he was getting clipped with punches but um, he always likes getting himself into a war I don't know why he does it it's some sort of pride thing I think he needs to stop listening to the media as well who says he hasn't got a good chin he seems to be you know I think he seems to play on that and wants to keep proving that he's a macho man and I would suggest Farah Khan in the future when he does make a comeback which I hope he does make a comeback um, that he uh, again he dresses that so you know um, I uh, the minute the fight was announced and he tried to go for Danny Garcia I had serious reservations really serious reservations because I looked at the way Morales was able he was able to suck up punches from Morales and come forward the way he was able to even though Morales is as old as he is he's still able to drop him with that left hook and I just thought well if that left hook can drop Morales then at some point in time that left hook's going to land at Amherst's chin and it did and you saw the result now they're saying no oh, um, Garcia's the best guy in the world well I wouldn't go as far as that because he beat Amir Khan um, I wouldn't go as far as that because I never saw Amir Khan as the best guy in the division um, you know uh, I don't know I don't know I don't know what to say about Amir Khan I'd like to see him come back um, I'd like to see him leave Freddie Roach um, I don't know who he'd, I don't know what trainer you could go to but I'd definitely get him to leave Freddie Roach actually I'd like to see him go with uh, the Mayweathers actually in terms of trying to get him a better defence so he's not taking as many punches and to adopt a style where he's using a jab and move technique or even to tell you what Emmanuel Stewart would be quite nice Emmanuel Stewart I think would be a good trainer for Khan to adopt a style where he's using a jab jab and move counter punching I think that style would suit Amir Khan far much more um, in terms of his strength and strength and conditioning Ruben Tavares was brought on board for this fight I don't know if Amma looked any stronger to me um, and um, he was a uh, 147 148 pound at light welterweight and he's got knocked out like that and he wants to go up to welterweight well if he's getting dropped at welterweight he got knocked out uh, a lightweight he's now got stopped or knocked down and seriously hurt a light welterweight I suppose he could say he was weight drained and he's going to go up to 147 pounds. Well, would you stick him in the ring with any of the 147 pound champions? He's not going to punch any harder. I think he'll be slower on his feet. I don't know. I don't know. But if they were protecting him then, they protected him on his way back to the Prescott fight. And the, and the public are not going to you know, accept Amir fighting all these bums before going back, rehabilitation fight, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, alright, let me know your comments, um, um, in some ways I am fairly sad for Amir because, you know, he, he is an exciting fighter, but exciting fighter with flaws and big gaping flaws as well, I just wish that people on, on Sky, Barry Wigan, Johnny Nelson and Glenn McCrory were more honest and they just spoke the truth rather than saying Ame is this and Ame is a world class fighter and Ame can do this and Ame can do that not to say look the guy his chin is questionable still and this guy Garcia as McGreen did say 
the left hook could be a problem in this fight. And if Amir comes and rushes him, he could get knocked out. They didn't build it that way. There's a uh, Sky Boy, so they wouldn't say that. So, you know. Okay, I'm out.